Selenium for Beginners with Rex Jones II. Hello and welcome to Selenium for Beginners. We are going to discuss the relationship between HTML, web elements, and the document object model, better known as DUM. The transcript and presentation will be available on GitHub at Rex Jones II forward slash Selenium for Beginners and tinyurl.com Selenium locators for web elements. The complete lesson plan will include the relationship between HTML, web elements, and the DOM. Then I will show you how we use Selenium locators to find web elements. There are eight Selenium locators. One of the locator types for Selenium is XPath, and another locator type is CSS selectors. I'm going to demo how to create our own customized XPath and CSS selector values. Let's start with HTML by using W3 schools. We are going to focus on three topics, HTML introduction, HTML elements, and HTML attributes. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a language designed to create web pages. Let's try it. We see HTML on the left and the results on the right. The first HTML line shows an exclamation point doc type in all capital letters. Doc type is a declaration representing an HTML document type to help all browsers display web pages. HTML documents have elements defined by tags. In this example, the tags are HTML, head, title, body, h1, and p. HTML is the root element and head is an element that contains metadata. That's why we see title as one of the elements within the head element because title describes the document title. After the head element is body, which contains the prime content of the page. H1 means header and P means paragraph. H1 is the biggest header. The header becomes smaller when the number increases. For example, I'm going to write H2 my second heading. Then click run. The words are smaller in the results pane. That's a quick introduction of HTML. Now let's look at HTML elements. An element consists of a start and end tag with content inserted between both tags. Here's the syntax for an HTML element. Do you see the difference between a start tag and end tag? An end tag contains a forward slash before the tag name. There are times when we will come across some empty elements, which are elements without an end tag like BR. BR is a line break, meaning it will skip a line. HTML attributes 
provide additional information about HTML elements. Most of the times, they come in name value pairs. The href attribute is defined with the A tag. A stands for anchor and href is an acronym for hypertext reference. This A tag and href attribute are used to create links. We see href has a value of www.w3schools. W3schools web page will show up after clicking this link. We see href and src attributes, but the key attributes for finding web elements are class, ID, and name. Class and ID are global attributes. Global attributes means an attribute can be used by any HTML element. We see class specifies one or more class names for an element, and ID specifies a unique ID for an element. Name is not a global attribute, but it can be used on many HTML elements, and it specifies the name of the element. Other attributes can be used to find web elements, but ID, name, and class are the main attributes to find web elements. What is a web element? A web element is an element from HTML displayed on a web page. It can be a hyperlink, image, button, anything you see on a web page is considered a web element. Sometimes we say elements for short, although there is a difference between element and web element. A question someone may ask is how are web elements displayed on the web page? They are displayed on a web page when a browser such as Chrome reads the HTML document, then renders the document. Rendering a document means taking the HTML content and converting that content to what we see on the web page. However, there is an interface for managing the web page, and that interface is called the Document Object Model, DOM. The DOM is an API, application programming interface that handles HTML documents as a tree structure by identifying three things. Number one, it identifies how to access an HTML document. Number two, it identifies how to manipulate an HTML document. Number three, it identifies the logical format of an HTML document. Here's the tree structure of a DOM using the HTML from W3 schools. At the top, we see documents, then an HTML root element. Under the root element, there are two elements, head and body. Head has title as an element, while body have header one and paragraph as elements. We can right click on any browser and inspect elements using developer tools. Inside the elements panel, Chrome has a dome structure which include all elements of the current web page. This DOM structure defines the page structure. We can click Control F to find an element from the DOM by string, selector, or XPath using this locator. Next, we are going to use Selenium locators 
to find web elements. Online courses coming soon. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.